world are you doing, my friend? Hey, John, how you doing? I'm doing really good. How you been? I've been good. I am waxing my non-skid. Now, now, wait a minute. I was under the understanding that non-skid is supposed to keep you from slipping. If you wax it, wouldn't it make it slippery? Well, actually, that's a misconception. When the boat comes out of the mold, it, they wax the mold to get the boat to come out. And so there's already wax on it to protect the boat. And the engineering of the non-skid is what actually keeps you from slipping. Well, who we have back on the program is my very dear friend, Barry Berhoff. And Barry is the president of Surehold Industries. And Barry, what happens if a boat owner doesn't wax their non-skid is the sun will beat up that gel coat. Correct. It'll oxidize, it'll get chalky, and that actually holds dirt. And so you're telling people to wax their non-skid, but you're not using a traditional pad like this right here. Correct. What are you using instead? Okay, well, if you use a traditional pad, the non-skid's so abrasive, as you can see, it tore that pad up. Check this pad out, guys. That is really torn up. What are you using? Well, we developed this special waxing brush for the dual action polisher specifically to do non-skid. And it's not going to tear up and it's going to push the wax into all the nooks and crannies. Okay, well take us through the process and is there a special type of wax that we should be using? Yes, you want to use a liquid polymer based wax like our Pro Polish that I'm using here today. You're going to just lay some down. Now because it is a liquid wax, it's going to be easy to spread. You couldn't do this with a paste or a hard wax. It'd be tough to get that out of all the nooks and crannies. Correct. You kick the machine on, nice slow speed like a two or a one, and you're going to do the same exact pattern you would with a buffing pad, but with this brush, it's going to get into all of the nooks and crannies. Are there any other steps? There's just one other step. I take my final finish bonnet here, use it in my hand, and I just quickly go over to wipe up any excess that's sitting there. And as you can see, it's dry to the touch, waxed, ready to go. Guys, about 90% of the top side of your boat is molded in non-skid. And if you live down here in the south, you need to wax this about once every three months. What about for people up north? About twice a year. Okay, now you have a website that is just chock full of videos and, and you have so many tips on how to detail different aspects of the boat. Could you give everybody that resource? Sure, visit us online at www.surehold.com and we've got all of our training videos, our dual action polishers, the waxing brushes, the wax, anything you need and a dealer located.